This is the first time that the CEO were seeing writing and giving figures. It was revealed last week that DK Relief Limited was paid 10 million shillings more for the supply of personal protective equipment to the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority. And now members of the Parliamentary Watchdog Committee are seeking answers from Gideon Semiu, an agent of the foreign company. That considering everything else, no one even bothered to find out who is Gideon, who is Manpreet, who is DK. Did you try and ask, by the way guys, how did you know about this email? How did you get these figures of 8-5? According to documents in the possession of the committee, DK Relief Limited Director Manpreet Sai Kohli did all the paperwork for the tender in the UK. He then sent Gideon Semeo to deliver them to the Kemsa headquarters. There is no single place here that, forget about even getting a copy of that letter, but there is nowhere that indicates that the company even introduced itself. The, for, what we have, the, what, for what we have here, uh, we don't have it now, but I can go and consult and check if we have any document. If you look at, if you look at that email from uh, Jonah, it says we have been formed, you have 20,000 kits. Yes. yes. Okay, Chair, uh, just to make it clear, when I drop the sample, uh -huh. um, I think just the point of information that we have the kits to supply. So you told them verbally? No verbally. Yes. Yeah, we, it's verbal because we give the samples and say this is what we have. It is still not clear why the company that also has branches in South Sudan and UK paid more than the value of the assorted PPE it delivered and why Kemsa overlooked local companies while awarding the tender. You said 90 days, you were able to get a transfer of 180 million. Was that something unique to you? Did you find it unique? Who, who, who did you talk to in finance? No, no one. You, after you supplied, did you do any follow-up? No, I, after supplying, uh, you know, everyone knows the record with Kemsa. They, you do business with Kemsa, you are assured of payment. No, actually, no. No one knows that because there's a company right now who are manufacturers and they, they employ about 180 Kenyans who are not uh, agents but Kenyans who go and work there. Until today, they've not been paid. Last week, a director of the DK Relief Limited Kenya, Stephen Mutunga, told them Vita MP Abdul Somad Nasir led committee that Sain left the country in 2016 for the UK, where he established another company by the same name, DK Relief Limited, in 2018. Philip Murutu, K24 Evening Edition.